Welcome back to Nobia Cedaries. Brian the bee is feeling uh, under the weather, so I'm gonna be handling this one by myself here for the intro and the outro of this vlog. But uh, my name's Stephanie, and in this video, we are going to be doing the food and wine tour part two. Uh, I'm not really sure how many parts there are going to be because we tried a lot of different booths uh, in our journey, so we'll see what happens. But uh, I promise for anybody that's looking for those outtakes, they are coming up probably in the next one because I wanna put them in the order of where the booths go. Uh, but we hope you enjoy, send your best wishes over to Brian and stay tuned. Come All on. right, so here we are in Ireland. But also in England, and but we have England. no English food. Yes. Just got Irish food though. And I don't know if you can tell, but the storm's coming. Yes, it's about to start raining, so we're gonna go inside the pub, maybe grab a drink, some fish and chips, I don't know. Um, but this Something. is the roasted Irish sausage with Colcannon potatoes and onion gravy. Yeah, and the potatoes are mashed, so... And the sausages look like your typical breakfast sausage. Yeah, it's the IHOP special. You know a guy with one leg invented IHOP? No. True. Look it up. His wife named Peg. How'd you know? I've heard of them. It's good. Um, the gravy is really dark and thick, and so I like that. I really like the dark gravy with the sausage. The sausage is, I mean, not really much special to it, but I love the gravy with the mashed potatoes. Yeah, the gravy and the mashed potatoes, probably the highlight of that dish. The sausage is just meh. Yeah, it's just like regular sausage. Yeah, nothing special. I mean, it's got some chives on top, but... Yeah, chive on. But we're getting full, and we haven't even made it halfway through the countries. <laughs> <laughs> That's we're, all right. We're going to power through for you. We're rookies here. I mean, we got till 10 o'clock tonight, so... True. We've got 10 more hours. Yeah. We can go binge and then come back. And purge? I mean purge and then come back. No, we're not gonna do binge. that. We don't recommend that. We just recommend eating and savoring and hey, keeping it forever. We do this all for you. Okay, there are no limits to what we'll do for our subscribers. I'm pretty sure Brian needs to start eating this real fast or throw it away because we're about to get poured on. Yeah, we're gonna go inside the pub. Maybe grab a beer, grab yeah. a pint. Although last time we were there, there was no indoor seating. You had to, it was to go only. Oh. Brian doesn't remember Didn't we that. we stand at the bar though? We only stood at the bar for an extended period of time as our friend poured his drink onto the bar. Yeah, that was the day we're telling you guys where it wasn't pretty. <laughs> I mean, it was but fun. We're gonna try and salvage the video from that. Or but at least the uh, outtake reel. Yeah. Which the whole thing is. But we're gonna head inside before we start getting wet. All right, so we said we're gonna get messy and it's raining. Yeah, it started pouring rain. We were about to walk in. Well, Brian was tasting the uh, sausages from Ireland. You had a bite. Yes. They, um, so when it starts raining in Florida, you just run to your nearest pub. So we went inside, but Brian wanted to sit and like sit down, and the inside pub is grab and go only. Yeah, it was about to pour, so grab and go wouldn't have done anything for us. Yeah. So we were standing outside at the little wait thing for the Rose and Crown pub, and then it started pouring rain. <laughs> Yeah, and, and there was a line of people behind us. Yeah. Thankfully, we got to get in. walk up availability. It was half. No, sorry, that was a TV show, I think. Yeah. So, so yeah, so um, we made it in. It was a little weird that they were trying to process all the reservations while the yeah, walk up people were. They were writing all the line, names down on a card. Getting soaked, and so people were trying to squeeze in, but there's not much room. So anyway, we got our seat. We were dry, but the family with three kids behind us were getting soaked. But they're fine. They got seated before we did. <laughs> so we ordered a cheese platter and then two drinks. So Brian, why don't you describe your drink? Yes, it's Guinness. Um, what can I say? A full-bodied stout beer. Wonderful on this day right now. Rainy and cloudy. Reminds me of Ireland that I've never been to, but I'm sure it's like that. Exactly like that. And how's your drink? I don't how's know. Your beer? I got the uh, Leaping Leprechaun, and <laughs> it is Jameson whiskey, Don Q crystal rum, Svedka vodka, melon liqueur, and sweet and sour. Top with Sprite. Mm. So a whole, it's like a Long Island. 
Sounds good. Looks like it has Midori in it. It does. That's the melon liqueur. It's kind of tart. <clears throat> kind of tastes like a lemonade. And um, that could be dangerous with the amount of alcohol that is inside of it. <laughs> and then we also got a cheese platter. So we're breaking our rule of not drinking today. But what else are we going to do? We needed a moment. And it looks like the rain's going to persist for probably the next 30 minutes or more. So mm, we, got, we have her. ponchos. True. So we just mm. started on the wrong side. Yeah. And that if we started in Mexico, us. we would have had a Mexico ride, Frozen. What else is over there? Basically, that's it. Oh, yeah, that is very sour. That is uh, tart. Yeah. And, and sweet. You get a lot of sugar in there, too. But uh, pretty good. Refreshing. You know me and charcuteries. If you watch our channel, I could just eat cheese plates, meat plates, like all day, every day. There's a country out there beer. that has a charcuterie. Ooh. That's not a sit down place. Yeah? Yeah. Go yeah, try that. So, yeah, so we're gonna hang out for a while, maybe have another drink, maybe not, if the rain stops, and then uh, finish off this cheese pie. So, okay, so how were the other two cheeses you asked? How were the other two cheeses, Brian? We're about to tell you. Go ahead. Well, I've only had the middle cheese, which is a yellow cheddar, and it's kind of, um, a, it's a creamier cheddar. It's not sharp. It's very soft. I gotta try a little bit of this in our cracker. But yeah, so, um, the uh, onion jam, that's really good. It's like uh, sauteed onions, and then they have some sort of sugar, syrupy, um, sauce in there to sweeten it. Oh, it's a great contrast between the sweet and the grilled or fried flavor of the saute. Well, I can tell you what my favorite cheese is. What is your favorite cheese? Mine is the white cheddar, whatever that is. Oh yeah? My least favorite is the blue cheese. Yeah, and the blue cheese is my favorite. It's very, very strong. If you like blue cheese, like, very strong. If, if you don't, I understand. It's a very strong flavor. So. Oh, dirty sock. And I got the jam puree. It looks like a raspberry puree on top. With the, what was it? Uh, apple, compote apple yeah, jam. Yeah, apple chutney I don't know. type thing. It's so good. And these crackers, they got sesame seeds on them. And they taste toasted. Ah. I feel like these are the ones that you get at the store. They are. The fancy crackers. Yeah. In the fancy aisle. Yep. All right. This is probably all we're gonna eat here because we have a world out there. The rain cleared and as we walked by, we saw this little guy. He didn't make it out. We tried to sneak on to Ratatouille, but... We didn't even try at all, but... They have it blocked off. They have like eight bodyguards there, yeah. so there's no getting through. <laughs> Unless you are a cast member that signed up for the preview, yeah, which so we are not. Apparently it was premiere night last night because Remy was drunk and passed out on one of the storm drains. Oh yeah, well, we'll so, put that in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, You'll yeah. see. Yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> So we stopped in France and we got a treat from there. We did the beignet à trois fromage. I don't know if I said that right. I never took yes. French. I took Spanish. And it's a warm beignet filled with tree, tree, three cheeses. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. That is a it's heavy. fromage à trois. Mm. It's good. It has like a oniony cheese or something that's got a little bit of a herby taste to it. Huh. Onions, I herby. I don't know. But I get the donut flavor with yeah. the um, oil that was fried in. Yeah, the donut kind of tastes like a funnel cake. The cheese doesn't really have a whole lot of flavor to me. Maybe that's because you had blue cheese earlier. Oh, I got it. 
I got your herbal. Yeah. It's like it's good. I was either gonna get this or the cocoa bim. I chose and the I chose because Brian went to the bathroom and let Stephanie decide. I chose the cheaper one. Yes. Her life was in your hands, and she chose. I'm gonna go the discount. <laughs> and you know, really, the last time I was here in a different year uh, was I had the beef bourguignon, but they don't have it anymore, and that was so amazing. So if you come in future years and they have it, I highly, highly, highly recommend that. I can't remember if I tried the cocoa bin before. I don't I think remember. I have, but it sounded really good. And um, they also have escargot, but they changed the way they do it now. Now it's in a croissant, but I, I'm pretty sure I've had it in the croissant form and it's still really garlicky and buttery and tastes like a, a, a mushroom. mushroom. Yeah, if you never had uh, escargot, that's now, what it tastes like. Um, I'm kind of glad we didn't get the cocoa bin because I feel like that would have been heavier. Yeah. This is kind of light, surprisingly, even though it's fried. I mean, we only walked five steps, so to walk off the food we've been eating. <laughs> Although, I do have a little more room now. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, well, we're going to head on to the next place and just wanted to show you this. And um, we love France. Okay, we're in the Middle East now, Morocco. Yep. And we ordered. It's been a long journey. Sorry. Brian's been wiping down chairs so that we don't have to get our butts wet. Yes. Because the rain has made all the chairs wet. Yes. So we decided to get this, which is called the... Falaf fried falafel pita with tahini sauce. And it, I believe it is vegan. Yeah, the pita bread tastes like it's pre-made. Brought in from a factory somewhere. Um, the falafel is really good, nice and crunchy. Great texture, great flavor. The sauce on it is delicious. Garlicky, creamy. And then you get the freshness of the lettuce. But I wish they would make a pizza here. But it's good. I like it. Yeah, like Brian said, the falafel itself is really crunchy. And then the... I feel like I taste olive. I don't know. I, I could be hallucinating. It might be in the tahini sauce, but... I doubt it. Because fluffle is chickpeas? Is that right? Yeah, I think you're right. But pretty good. I was going to get the uh, Instagrammable cake, but... Yeah, and I was going to get the spiced lamb, but... You let me decide are. again. <laughs> yeah. She has it her way. We're going to get everything fried and everything sweet. That's all she's wanted today was dessert and carbs. But I understand, like, when you're drinking and walking, you don't want to eat, like, heavy food. So, surprisingly, even though it's fried, it, it is kind of late. I mean, I'm not really drinking. I had a drink. Although... All right, but even just, like, walking around in the heat. Yeah. Although it feels really nice right now. Because it rained. It's still cloudy out. I'm still sweating. I have a bead of sweat right here going on the outside of my lip. Right or is to my that a chin tear? right now. Because you're yeah. so happy. So good, it made me cry. <laughs> All right, so we're going to finish up our pita. Yeah. And move on to the next one. Yeah, we were going to try and do two, like at every stop. But yeah. That's just ridiculous. Like, we either have to break this well, up in three or four days. We did or... start pretty heavy with the uh, those noodle bowls. Yeah, we didn't finish them, though. No, we did not. But, yeah, doing two of everything is too much. But we wanted to give you guys a good idea of the variety that they have here. But uh, it's going to be like a three or four day project if we do that. <laughs> Tackle one day, just going to do one thing for every place and move on. You know, it could have been a three day project, uh, but the first day was a wash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We did eat many yummy things the first day. We had all the Greek stuff. We had a lot of the stuff in the American Pavilion, and those were all yummy. So. But I got two drunk, and we didn't review them. So, want the last bite? I like it though. It's like it's a very light meal. So, if you want to come and get this, if you're not super hungry. This is perfect. And to try something different. I mean, it's very light. I love pitas, so I almost got the hummus dip. See, that wouldn't have been fried. 
ship. All right, we'll see you at the next stop, which is... Maybe Japan, I don't know. Maybe Japan, we don't know. I don't know if there's something in between. Yeah, we're going backwards from the way Stephanie normally goes, so... She's gonna have to go for it, like say her alphabet from Z to A. I think I got it. <laughs> All right, we hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Uh, in the next one, we will be doing more food booths. And uh, I forgot in this vlog about the France, the beignet. That was really, really good. I'm um, not even going to lie. It was delicious. So uh, when I was editing this, I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Uh, as you can see, behind us is the lake. This is your first real view of it here. There's our dock that's still currently underwater and I'm standing on a little ledge, some stairs down from our house that go down to the uh, pathway right there. But as you can see, can't get to it yet because it's still covered in water. But uh, you'll probably be seeing more of the house in the coming weeks here as Brian's still feeling under the weather. And uh, we hope that you enjoy. Have a great week. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one.